Good morning and welcome into Morning Moments with Jesus. As we watch 2021 close out and look forward to a new year, there's always this sense within us that things are going to be different, that we're going to start a whole new way of doing things and uh, all the old things are going to pass away and all the new things are going to come out. And it's always good to hope that. It's always good to have goals and ambitions and things to strive for. Some people call them resolutions. But the one thing that uh, the Lord shows us in His Word is there's, that there's some things that we ought to do every day of our lives, not just wait for a new year or not just wait for something to happen in our lives to where we feel like we have to make a change. One of those things that I want to talk about this morning is simply seeking the Lord. Uh, a lot of people may already be having plans of reading the Bible through next year, uh, maybe getting more involved in church. All of those things are great. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But you're going to miss a great treasure if you just do that just to accomplish a goal. Your goal ought not to just be to read a Bible through in a year or to get more involved in a church project. It simply ought to be to seek the heart of the Lord Jesus Christ. Not just in 2022, not just because it's the beginning of a new year. It's because you're a blood-bought believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. And that makes you not only a child of God, but the Bible bears out that we should be disciples of Christ. Not just people who call themselves Christians, but we should be people who seek heartily and earnestly after the heart of the Lord. In Lamentations chapter 3, verses 24 through 26, there's a powerful statement made here, and it begins by saying, The Lord is my portion, says my soul. In other words, my soul is crying out these words, that the Lord is my portion. And that word portion here means my allotment and my inheritance. I want you to know this morning that there are certain things that belong to you. They belong to you. And the reason why we go through most of our lives, and some people go through all of their lives, and never really receive their inheritance that not only God has for them in heaven, we're going to get that inheritance, but there are great allotments and things that God wants you to have right here on this earth. The Lord is my portion, the Word of God says, says my soul. Therefore will I hope in Him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for Him, to the soul that seeks Him. Now listen to verse 26. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. That word seek there is a powerful word. Because it simply means to diligently inquire. And in 2022, if you want to make any kind of resolution, if you want to make any kind of goal, it should be better next year than we were this year in all aspects of our lives. Not some giant leap, not some home run, but just moment by moment, step by step, decision by decision, let us diligently inquire to the Lord. Lord, what is my allotment? What is my inheritance for now, for this moment, for this season, for this year? Because where our eyes are focused on, our minds and our body are sure to follow. So let's make this commitment to the Lord and be careful on this because Ecclesiastes chapter 5 says it's better not to make a vow than to make it and not keep it. But let's make this vow to the Lord. The Lord, I can't promise you that I'm going to read the Bible through this year. And I can't promise you that I will be as involved in church as I need to be. But I can tell you this. I can vow to take a little time next year and spend more time, just you and me, seeking your heart, your wisdom, your will, and your ways. If I can do that, 
then I know I will be more involved. I know I'll be more in tune with what you have for me. Because Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33 wraps it up with a wonderful, wonderful statement. Because next year is going to be the same as this year. There's going to be a lot of chaos. There's going to be a lot of turmoil. A lot of worldly things going on. It's going to try to catch your eye, pollute your mind, and point you in the wrong direction. But Matthew 6.33 says this, that if you will seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, He'll add all the other things to you. So today I pray and speak a blessing over you that you will commit to the Lord to seek His heart and seek His will and seek His ways. You be safe, you be strong, and you be blessed. And Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. You have a great day.